Hey guys, just want to make a quick video here showing you guys uh, two of the systems we have that are almost complete, about 75%, if not a little more. Uh, all the plumbing's done, all the coppers together, all the uh, components that are necessary for the system work have all been installed. This one's actually converted over to propane, um, so we did that. This system here is going to be a two-zone system. Uh, but the customer actually just wants to use one zone for now with the ability to add the second one later. So that's why we have just the shut off without the pump there. Uh, so he'll be able to fill this system and just utilize the one zone for now. And then in the future, he could add the other pump um, and do the wiring himself. For this one, uh, all that's left, actually both of these, all that's left is just the wiring to be done. Um, so we just basically have to run power to the pump and... Also, some of the sensors that are used by this pump, this pump actually is the VT2218. I love using these things. They can auto adjust themselves depending on um, however you set them, different flow rates, or they could also monitor the delta that you set them to. So those are really, really nice. The customer wanted to have that ability uh, to be able to adjust it automatically or be able to set it himself. So we upgraded them to that pump. Uh, this is for an in-floor system. Actually, these both are for um, concrete in floor radiant heat again a two zone here this one also is actually a two zone um, so this one is using the 0015 e3s these are really nice so it's an upgrade um, for the regular 0015s they're, they're still a three p three speed pump um, but they're way more efficient they use i think less than an amp to even run on high speed so those are really energy efficient so we're just getting these wrapped up uh, like I said, just get the wiring done on these and get these out of here. This winter has been pretty busy. Um, everybody's rushing to get heat into their buildings and uh, we've just been you know, trying to keep up with it. Uh, the summertime, I don't push as hard for these just because I have so much other stuff going on, but uh, I, I constantly do. But in the winter, I guess I try to make this a, one of my priorities to just get uh, the business built up a little bit to get these heating systems going. Um, we get a lot of people that are doing them for pole barn builds, barn dominiums, things like that. But really, we can make these for any application. Uh, we sold a bunch of them for baseboard heating. We have the ability to build these as needed for depending on... This one here is actually 110,000 BTU. This one's 130. Uh, so we have a wide range of... Any uh, BTU rating you need, any flow rates you need. These are both utilizing inch and a quarter copper uh, piping with one inch feeds for each supply. But again, everything's adjusted and designed out as needed. Uh, so if you got any questions about um, a system you want or design needed for in-floor systems or baseboard systems at all, uh, just contact me. Um, and here we go. We'll, we'll probably update another video when... These are completed or maybe some of the next builds. We do have another video I posted up of kind of walking through all the components involved in one of these systems. So go ahead, check that video out as well. And uh, don't forget, like and subscribe and uh, comment if you have any questions or concerns. And we'll see you guys soon.